Alright everybody, welcome back and in this lesson we are going to create our fire and smoke. I already um, did this for, for you guys, set up uh, the scene that this is the Skyrim replacement. I used my old one because uh, there was no need for me to uh, to bring back the new one if it's just the same. So I bring it up and it's in... This is in a um, color space sRGB. And as you can see, it's really washed out. But what we are going to do is we're going to put our um, our lot. That's, that's our viewer over here. We're going to put it to none. And I'm going to delete this to know what it's doing over here. So now we got our our uh, our footage in the right space. And now we're going to create our smoke. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to load up our our uh, fire and smoke. So in your folder in assets, I have three. Uh, I think I have a lot of different smoke. So if you can just load it in, some of them are not working, I think. So as you can see over here, we got a big fire. And it's like 501 frames, so we can uh, move for the background, so we can retime it and everything. So what we're going to do now is uh, we are going to place our fire in the right space. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up my, I'm going to get my, I'm put my fuel to my sky replacement, and I'm going to fuel my my tracker. All right. I want my fire to be in a foreground. So some, I think over here is nice. So 0.6 error. Let's. This one is 0.4. Something over here is nice. So what I'm gonna do? We're gonna create a card. All right. We got our card. And if you, mm, if we just plug our image in here and our and the card in our scene we're supposed to have our fire over here and that's correct but as you can see the card we the point we picked was over here but now it looks like it's right in the foreground so what we're going to do we're going to load up our scene press F on the card and start working and as you can see the fire is below the ground. So what we're going to do, we are going to go to our car, our cart, and move it up, and move it up so it's on the right space. And and the point over here is on the ground, so we know that this point is on the ground. So that we are going to move it a little bit up, and now suppose it should be over there. So as you can see, now the the fire is in the right space, but as you can see, it's really big. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to scale it down. But we have to look in our scene. So uh, with my card selected, I'm going to scale it down and move it down again, so it's on the right position of the points. So I'm going to put my uh, Color space for my fire to linear. Um, there is now we really have like we can really see like all the detail and everything. So I you, with fire I usually work in in linear space. So as you can see now we got our fire over here, which looks really nice. Of course it's not um, corrected yet, but we're going to um, first. We're going to do some roto on a fire. No, don't be afraid. We're only going to roto the edges. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, we got this weird, weird um, look over here. So what I'm going to do is, go, I'm going to create a simple line with a lot of curve so I'm going to do something like this 
and something like this and I'm going to move it up a little bit and I'm going to go to my shape and kill it so what I'm going to do over here right now I'm going to play this and as you can see we can really use this as our foreground for the for the fire for the for the sand so I'm going to blur it a little bit and then I'm going to go to my merge and it looks weird but we're gonna fix it so we got our smoke our I mean our, our fire first I'm just going to check if everything looks nice so and now I'm just gonna pause it and do a flipbook and I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. I'm just going to cancel it and just we're going to check because I don't like to wait. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to check if my Oh, this is weird. If I'm, I'm going to check if my fire is um, is tracking nicely with a shot, and it is, as I can see from this point of view, it's tracking really nicely. I really don't like these edges, but we're going to fix it. But fire is, yep, it's doing great. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix the edges because I did some roto, but I don't know what kind of road idea so we're gonna fix it so I'm going to delete this and what I'm going to do over here I'm just going to put a rectangle and I'm going to do something like this and feather it a little bit like this alright and now I am going to bring another roto and now I'm going to do the That crazy stuff. So we are going to do something like this. Should, this should work because sand is really uh, wobbly, so this should work. This. All right. Then we're going to bring it down, and now we have something like this. Still looks a little bit weird. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to move it a little bit down. So we've got something like this. And now we're going to check it out. So as you can see, it looks like it's in the back of it, and fire is moving. So that looks really nice. Uh, I'm going to kill my rotations. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to right click and set to default. It looks weird right now, but we're going to fix it with this in our scene. And we are going to bring our we are going to bring our rotation to 90. So now it's really um, looking at the camera and there's no rotation involved, so no errors. Alright, this looks nice and we are going to do some simple color correction and I'm going to show you how, how to make this fire look uh, real to composite. So what I'm usually what I what I used to do is I desaturate it by to twenty percent, so zero point eight, and I'm going to play with my gamma. Uh, I mean my contrast a little bit my gamma a little bit up I mean yeah something like this and my gain so we got from here from something like this something like this and of course we need a glow to make it look real so what I'm going to do over here with the glow I'm going to go to my my size and I'm going to bump it up because fire is something that glows a lot. I'm going to put my brightness a little bit down 
now we really has have these hot spots in the middle. So that's looking cool. All right, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to I'm going to um, create a light wrap that will help integrating the fire. So I'm going to plug my A into my scanline render, which is the fire, and my B into my sky replacement. I'm going to generate my wrap only, pump up my intensity, so we got something like this. And I'm going to plug in a merge and set my operation to plus. So now, as you can see, this looks weird, but I'm going to I'm not going to use it that hard, uh, that much. So I'm going to pump it down. But we still have a little bit of the background merging into the fire. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do over here is um, I'm going to. Um, create more more fire. So with my card selected, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate my card um, to something like this, and I'm going to plug it also in here. And now I can just move it around. I'm going to my scene again. Um, select the card. Press F for uh, to frame it and I'm going to put it a little bit in the back and a little bit uh, bigger maybe and yeah something like this and we don't want our smoke to um, to move the same way as the other one so I'm going to plug in a retime node merge it, uh, put it in here and put my speed to something like 1.1 so now we got more fire and it doesn't behave the same way as the other. What I'm going to do over here because it's still too saturated, I'm going to plug in a saturation node and I'm going to desaturate it a lot. Something like this. Alright. It still looks too bright. I think it's the glow. Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, put my size to 150, and I put my brightness to 25. Yeah, this looks nice. So if you want to um, see if your uh, fire is in, is in the right color, you can all oh, you can check your grading if it's moving the same way as the whole environment. As you can see, it's definitely in the right space. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I am going to what I'm I'm going to put some smoke because what is fire without smoke? All right. So, um, I'm going to load up smoke. And it's in here, it's a few, I think. Yeah. Is this some smoke elements? This one is a fast one. And this one is nothing. And this one is slow one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to use this fast one. As you can see, it's going out of the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, plug in a roto, and I'm going to put in a big shape, and I'm going to make it a color black, and I'm going to feather it by a lot, something like two, three hundred, four hundred might work. And now I'm going going to a little bit. So now. The smoke is fading out really nicely and not, not out of the frame. Okay, it has an, al an alpha channel which is great. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a constant note uh, in the right format, and we are working in 
1080 not 920 by 1080 so what I'm going to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reformat my smoke and I'm going to copy it copy the alpha channel so now I have my alpha channel and I'm going to pre-mold it alright so this section is our smoke can okay, move you on the side a little bit so now we got our smoke this is the alpha channel and this is RGB it's black so you so we can see it unless it's on our plate so what I'm going to do I'm going to do the same thing create a, I'm going to duplicate my card put the image here and I'm going to put it in my scene First, I don't want to have a lot of lines and go into my scene. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, plug in a merge geo and just merge every single card because I like to work organized and I think this is the way. So and now we can plug our merge geo in our final scene. So now if you want to check this out. We got our smoke, which is great. So I'm going to my card, going to my C node, and I'm going to check where he, where my smoke is. I'm gonna plug it in the back. I'm gonna scale it up because I know smoke is coming from this side. So I'm gonna scale it up, put it in here. I'm gonna scale it to something like uh, like one because. Fire is be behaving fast, so the smoke is supposed to be big. And now we got our smoke right over here. All right. So in this lesson, I show you how to um, position your smoke and fire in uh, the right 3D space. In the next lesson, we're going to put more smoke, and I'm going to integrate a little bit better. All right. I see you in the next lesson.